Electrical relay is a switch that is used to control circuits. On the basis of constructional and design features, the relay are divided into different classes. Today you'll learn about electromagnetic attraction type, induction type, modern solid state, and numerical relays. Electromagnetic induction type relays. An electromagnetic relay consists of three parts. The coil, the armature, and the contacts. The current passing through coil produces motion in armature. The movable contacts either make or break the circuit. Electromagnetic relays are available in three different constructions. Attracted armature type, solenoid type, and balanced beam type. Let's discuss the solenoid type relay. Under normal conditions the armature is stationary. In case of fault, the electromagnet attracts the armature, and, connected circuit is activated. Electromagnetic induction type relays. The working principle of induction relays is based on induction motors. They are only used with AC systems. Induction relay consists of an aluminum disc, two magnetic fields, a moving, and a fixed contact. The figure here displays the schematic diagram of induction type relay. The moving contact is connected to the shaft that rotates with disc. Let's imagine the top view of relay. Under fault condition the interaction of magnetic fields causes the moving contact to rotate. As a result of rotation the contacts are bridged and circuit operates. Induction type relays are available in shaded pole, watt hour meter and induction cup structure. Solid state relay. Solid state relays are very popular for switching purposes. Unlike electromagnetic relays, they have no moving parts. They are sealed and are effective against dirt and moisture. Solid state relays can contain transistors, opto isolators, and triac. Solid state relay contains an LED along with other solid state electronics, sealed inside a plastic case, and can be used for controlling large AC and DC loads microprocessor or numerical based relays these are the most advanced programmable protection relays that offer greater flexibility and controls they are used in modern complex networks for protection and control purposes the figure above displays a VB3 phase monitoring relay it is used for measuring over and under voltages it also performs phase failure detection phase unbalance monitoring and phase sequence monitoring Relays like these are packed with multiple features. They contain analog to digital converters. They are loaded with comparator which compare different properties of circuits and then perform different tasks. Hybrid relays. The input portion of hybrid relays is an electronic circuit, while switching action is mechanical. Since it hybrids both electronic and mechanical system, the name hybrid is given. Hybrid relays are used when isolation between output and input is required, with a solid state relay. Thermal overload relays. Thermal overload relays provide protection against high temperature. The figure above displays a three pole electromagnetic thermal overload relay. In such relays, the motor current passes through the relay bimetal. In case of heating, the bimetals bend and cause the relay to trip. Insulation Monitoring Relay Heat Insulation Monitoring Relay detects the insulation faults and trips the circuit if the value falls behind preset value. In such relays a superimposed DC measuring signal is used for measurement. The insulation resistance is calculated from the superimposed DC voltage and resultant current. Liquid Monitoring Relays The liquid monitoring relays are used for regulating liquid levels. They are used for controlling the mixture ratios of conductive fluids. Such relays are used for setting maximum and min liquid level alarms and against dry running protection. Gas actuated relays. Gas actuated relays measure the pressure of gas and actuate their tripping process. Such relays are generally employed in transformer protection. The best and popular type of gas actuated relay is Buckelt's relay. Buckelt's relay is installed in oil immersed transformers and protects transformers against faults. So, that was all about different types of relays. Subscribe our channel for future updates and videos. Drop your suggestions and feedback in comments.